Welcome back to the transplant medications video. Everolimus is one of the anti-rejection medications that you may be taking after transplant. Everolimus is the generic name for Zortress. This medication is taken twice a day at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. with 12 hours in between each dose. You can take this medication with your other morning and evening medicines. We will measure the amount of this medicine in your blood and aim for a specific blood level. We will check this blood level with your lab work. This blood level helps your transplant team decide what dose you should be taking. If your blood level is too high, you are more likely to have medication side effects. If your blood level is too low, you are at risk for rejection. When you come for lab work, it is important for you to get your labs drawn at about 8 a.m. before you take your morning dose of medications. This is because we want to see what the lowest dose of medicine in your blood is, which will be about 12 hours from your nighttime dose of the medicine and right before your morning dose. It is very important for you not to take your morning dose of medicine until after your labs are drawn. Grapefruit and pomegranate can affect blood levels of this medication, so you will need to avoid eating these fruits or drinking juices that contain these fruits while you are taking Evrolimus. This medication is available as a 0.25 mg, 0.5 mg, and 0.75 mg tablets. You may be taking a combination of tablet sizes to get the right blood level that your transplant team is aiming for. These tablets should not be crushed or cut, so please let your transplant team know if you are having trouble swallowing the tablets. The tablets will come in blister packs, and you should not remove them until you are ready to take your dose. This medicine may cause your lower legs and ankles to swell or get puffy, so please call your transplant coordinator or tell your doctor during clinic visits if this happens. Everbolimus may also raise your cholesterol. Your transplant team will check your cholesterol before starting this medication to make sure that it will be safe to start, and we will regularly check your cholesterol after starting this medicine. Everbolimus may cause you to develop mouth sores. If you notice that you are developing sores in your mouth, please call your transplant coordinator immediately. Everolimus also causes wounds or cuts to heal more slowly. For example, if your surgery wound is still healing, it may take a little longer to heal. Please tell your transplant doctors or coordinator if you are having any planned surgeries at any time while you are taking this medication. Depending on the type of surgery you are having, your transplant team may take you off of Everolimus in order to let your surgery wound heal more quickly. Lastly, Everolimus may cause your kidneys to spill protein into your urine. In people who have normal kidney function, there should be no protein in your urine. Your transplant team will check to see if there is protein in your urine before starting this medication, and we will regularly check for protein in your urine after starting Everolimus. This concludes the Everolimus video.